this video, I will show you how to leverage PowerPoint's design ideas to create a visually impressive slide deck. Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer Sharkey. Today I will reveal the one technique I used to convert this text-heavy slide deck into this visual design. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and that way you'll never miss a new video when it's released. Microsoft introduced the Design Ideas feature with the PowerPoint 365 2019 Office release, also referred to as PowerPoint Designer. It uses basic AI or artificial intelligence to generate visual design recommendations for a slide. This is an interesting feature that PowerPoint introduced to make it more competitive, particularly with new and upcoming companies like Beautiful AI and SlideGoes.com. I do want to say for the record, though, that most bad slide decks are at the hand of the creator and not because of the software, although people really like to blame software for bad slide decks. Okay, back to the PowerPoint design ideas feature. When I first played around with this uh, particular setting, I wasn't all that impressed, and actually I just quit using it. The suggested designs weren't all that good, and they didn't align with the intent or content of the slide. However, I started seeing really well-designed PowerPoint slide decks from people who I know personally would never be able to create those designs. When I asked what templates they used, they said they used the design ideas feature right in PowerPoint. So I decided to give it another try. As I worked with the setting, I realized there was one strategy that I used that generated the best suggestions. So let me show you what I did. At the beginning of the video, I showed you a poorly designed slide deck with only text and lots of it. I pulled out three slides that turned from only text into these recommendations. To do this, I applied the strategy of eliminating all unnecessary text from each slide. I made sure the heading was short and to the point, and any text in the body was only the key points that I wanted to show the audience. Actually, this is a strategy I've always used when, uh, when designing a slide deck. It wasn't until I started trying out design ideas did I realize that it made a big difference in the suggestions. Because design ideas is AI driven, a slide with lots of text really confuses the algorithm, and so the resulting suggestions aren't really that great. So let's take a closer look at each slide. So the heading for the project goals slide was fine, but the body text was problematic. So I condensed the text to this, which in turn generated this design suggestion. The customer value slide was problematic both with the heading and the body text. So I pulled out the keywords and the key points of the text to create this slide. And then this was the design suggestion that resulted. The process slide wasn't too bad, but the body text did need some trimming. So here's the trimmed text, and here is what Design Ideas recommended. I have to say this suggestion surprised me, much more sophisticated than I expected. However, it solidified how important it is to have only the key terms and words on a slide. In conclusion, PowerPoint's Design Ideas feature is not a magic wand that automatically makes your slides look great. The content and the amount of text do make a difference. The best way to leverage this setting is to make sure your text is short and to the point. The AI component is better able to interpret those core messages. As always, I'm curious to hear about your experiences with slide design, and in the comments, share how you've been able to use PowerPoint's design ideas. Have you had success using that feature? If you got value from this video, I invite you to like and subscribe. Here's to presenting your best self digitally.